Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and I had to do a follow-up video um, to the one I did on the Chinese um, detergent commercial, which was considered the most racist commercial in the world, apparently. Um, I didn't realise at the time that there was an Ita Italian equivalent and that the Chinese advert was based off of the Italian equivalent, which came out a couple of years ago, or about a year ago. Anyway, it kind of made me reflect on how I had reacted to the Chinese commercial, because when I saw that, I mean, I know it was compounded by the fact that I'd seen videos where Chinese people are saying that black people look like monkeys, that they're smelly, that they're dirty. And I'd seen um, the, the videos about the exhibition they'd put on and um, paralleling black people with gorillas and monkeys. And so that didn't help because that compounded the fact that I felt it was a racist video. Um, but apparently the representative from the company reckons that racism is in the eyes of the viewer. And they reckon they didn't see nothing racist in it. They thought it was funny and blah, blah, blah. Now, I could, I was amused by it initially, but then when I thought about it, I said, no, because it was compounded by those views um, I'd had of the videos I'd seen before, it kind of affected my judgment. And therefore, I said, no, no, the, the reason why they're putting that black man in that washing machine is because they do think he's smelly. They do think he's dirty. And so it was compounded by what I'd seen before. But what happened was when I, something drew my attention to the Italian video. And when I saw the Italian video, I smiled and I thought it was amusing and I thought it was really nice. I thought it was great. Why? Because they're putting a white bloke into the washing machine and out comes this muscular black man. And it made me think to myself, well, Myrna, you can't, you can't have that state, you can't have that viewpoint because of the person's colour coming out of the washing machine. Either it's right or it's wrong. Either it's racist or it's not. So it can't be racist just because the guy turns Asian and when it's black, it's not racist. You see what I mean? So it made me reflect on my attitude and my reaction to the video. When I saw the white guy go in, I thought, yeah, he's a little scorny person. The girl looked a bit fed up. And then when she saw the black guy come out all muscular, and I thought he would look quite tasty myself, you know, I just thought, oh, what a brilliant video. You know what I mean? So... This video is really to create some kind of balance and I'm going to show you the video now. Yeah, I still smile. So, um, yeah, so I had to create some balance. I can't say that a video is racist because the Asian bloke is coming out and it's not racist because the black guy is coming out. Um, and it does, it made me realise that um, unless you put yourself in someone else's shoes, you're not going to understand how another person feels. That is a prime example. I can imagine how white people would feel offended if they saw that, because what you're doing, you're negating the person who's going in the washing machine and saying they're not good enough. That's what actually the advert is saying, if you want to take it deep. Now, I'm wondering, OK, the Chinese people are saying it's not a racist advert, but I wonder how they would feel if they put 
a, a Chinese person in that washing machine and he came out black. I don't think they would like it because they would get to feel exactly how we feel or how I feel or how the white person feels when they've been ch when their color has been changed in order to be acceptable because that's what that thing is saying um, the white the Chinese advert the slogan is something like use Quiabo you know and it will make you change for the better or something like that and with the Italian advert it says um, the name of the product and coloured is better so yeah so what they're actually saying is that race is better and so it is negating the other race. So in that sense, it is not really appropriate, regardless of how it makes you smile. When it's in your favour, you have to put the shoe on the other foot and think about how the other person feels. And when we're doing adverts and promoting products, we really need to be sensitive about what we're saying, what message we're sending and how the other person might feel. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.